Hey there, demons. It's me, your boy. And as you can see, we are continuing from a stream. We just did the End of Zoe Resident Evil 7 DLC, which was fucking immaculate. I cannot sing it enough praises. So satisfying. Loved it. I'm going to try not to talk about it too much during this run and focus on what we're doing. But continuing our casual series playthrough, we need to play Resident Evil 2 Remake. Uh, so that's what we'll be doing. Hopefully it picked up my save file. This is going to be a very casual run. We're, we're going to have infinite ammo and a good time. Why am I not getting any audio? Oh, I know why because this shit came out. Ah, there's my audio. You guys were able to hear it just fine. I wasn't. Um, so let's see. We've got... Game data is not finished installing. Please wait. I was not looking forward. Okay, it's got, it's got my stuff. We're good. Raccoon City, an industrial city in the heart of America and Claire Redfield's destination. Racing along on her bike, Claire has but one goal, to find her older brother Chris, who seems to have dropped off the face of the earth a few weeks back in a loading screen that finished loading. You'll have to pause it and read that. That burger has been the, the topic of a lot of discussion. <laughs> for some people, that burger looks amazing. For others, it looks hideous. I think it looks like it's been the wrapper too long. I've played this game a bunch on stream even, but never on Twitch. Riding a motorcycle in the rain. Mmm, so, hamburgers, delicious. <laughs> wind, wind down the day. Yeah, we're gonna be playing through this twice tonight. Anybody here? 
the uh, sign there on the right that says Herb Ice Cream. Hello? Reference obviously to the healing mechanic. I know ice cream emotionally healing if nothing else. It's, I fucking love ice cream. Oh, Excuse me, is everything okay? Stay back, man. I got this. Get off it! I said get off it! Don't come any closer! I forgot the trick to get by the dude. I think you just blow past him and then you're good. So we got a key for the storage room. Stop trying to do speed run shit. Oh, it's still got some of my settings. That's a, a callback to the original opening cutscene. We gotta get out of here. All right. Yeah. I think so. Thanks. Later. Safe. Come on. This is some of the most cutscenes that we have is here at the beginning. So as a, a story reminder, this game, the entirety of it takes place while Jill is knocked out. So the first half of Resident Evil 3 has already occurred. That's going to be important for when we get to Resident Evil 3. Which may even be tonight. We'll see. With the cutscenes, this is going to take way longer.
big city. Okay? So I will say that um, <clears throat> we have several playthroughs of this on the YouTube channel already. Like, we, we put a hell of a lot of time into this game. So, if, like, watching me play through the game, like, legitimately on Hardcore or something, Richardson, we did do that. We did the Hunk minigame. Uh, like, we did <clears throat> everything you need to do to get a Platinum, we, we did it on, on that run. Or, yeah, so, like, this will be in the playlist with all of those together, but, <clears throat> like, this, this is going to be a really chill, like, story run of the game. Watch cutscenes, read memos, I'm going to try not to speed run through it. This one's going to be a little harder for me, because this is probably out of the, like, single player games... One, it's definitely one of the ones I've played more of. Probably not as much as like Resident Evil Four. So yeah, let's. Deluxe weapons added, yeah. Who who needs those, right? Um, let's do the ATM four. That'll get us through a little a little faster. Screw that dude's name. No.
What it do, Anonymous? With your anonymous nutting. <laughs> yeah, I figured it was you. What's good, man? And so Marvin's not here yet. Yeah, we're gonna try to, uh, like, solve everything normally, because I have, like, a passcode cheat sheet and all sorts of fun stuff for this. But we're, we're gonna try to solve it normally in the correct way. I mean, we have an infinite ammo rocket launcher, so we're never in any real danger. powerful spell of all Leonard you are the first to redeem it my dude congratulations um so you know that there's there's absolutely nothing you get for that right <laughs> it's literally a way to burn nuggets or rather to burn yeah um that being said first off Thank you for the support. Because getting 50,000 nuggets takes time. And second, and I... This is literally an announcement I've been sitting on for months. Waiting on someone to redeem it. But, um... I... I there is one reward for, for redeeming that. And it's that... I'll be editing the about page of my uh, my Twitch page here and basically make a list of folks who have redeemed those because uh, that is such a display of support so I finally get to announce that because someone has been uh, someone redeemed it finally <laughs> well, the good news there there is more. Anybody can redeem them. You just have to lurk. Yeah, I appreciate the lurks for sure. Officer's notebook. So we see there is a picture here. There's the goddess statue that's in the main hall, and it seems like it's showing that there's actually a passage underneath it. But you need three medallions to get through it. And when you take an elevator, we don't know what the fuck's there, but it goes up into the parking garage and then hopefully a way out. So, it has the solutions for all three of them here. Okay, so we've seen these solutions. So with that said, I am pulling up my... Uh... My Resident Evil 2 cheat sheet because it has those like saved but this is where we get the solution at so this game is gory as fuck The perspective feels weird for no good reason. Probably just because I'm so used to other games. <laughs> the rocket launcher is kind of comical, I'm not gonna lie. But it like back when I was actually speedrunning, not really speedrunning, but doing multiple playthroughs of this game a day, I would run by most of the zombies. This is also kind of the victory lap 
for us on here. Like, beating Resident Evil 7 was really the last hurdle. <coughs> Marvin, bad motherfucker. Too bad he's injured, but... He saves our bacon. I was wondering why you had a uh, you had stopped redeeming like hydrates and stuff. Free hydrates for me, thanks. <laughs> Fair enough. It's great. Hydrate. Oh, I guess I uh, I do need to mark out one as complete. So that way it actually takes your your nuggets. I absolutely love the uh, the RE engine, which is what they built like Resident Evil Seven and Devil May Cry Five and Monster Hunter and this on. Like it looks so good. Cool. So we got a combat knife. I don't think there's any more dialogue of Marvin for a hot minute. Nah, he's good. I think what feels weird to me is I'm not playing this on a 32 inch TV. I'm so used to that. His name tag says Imbrano. You're not Marvin. They reused that asset. We're not going to need, like, handgun ammo or anything. <clears throat> Record of events. September 25th. We're turning the station into a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of the citizens their top priority as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. September 25th. Addendum. One of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of, of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was quickly restrained. We believe this was simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress. September 26th, a mob attacked the station day, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it safely behind the emergency shutters, but surrounded as we are, it'll be hard for any of us to escape this place. 
we're not sure if we can fix any of our comic equipment, so we remain cut off from the outside world. September 27th, there was another clash on the west side of the station around 1 p.m. Twelve people died. There's only a handful of survivors left. Everything was falling into disarray here. David Ford. So we're going to need bolt cutters. So yeah, like we could play this faster, but... <laughs> I do remember there being handgun ammo back there, and it's it's important to get a lot of ammo like early in the game. Um, so this is just about mixing gunpowder. We're not gonna read this memo out loud. Basically, you mix gun powders and get different types of, uh, different types of ammo and stuff. Rookie's first assignment. Leon S. Candy, we're putting you on a very special case for your first assignment. Your mission is to unlock your desk. The key to your success is in the initials of our names. Input the letters and orders of our desk. There are two locks, one on each side of your desk. Make sure you get them both. Basically, your first task is to remember your fellow officers' names. But you figured that much out, right? Good luck, Leon. By the way, it might take a little work to get Scott to give you a straight answer. Lieutenant Brano. Scrawled in a corner beneath drops of blood. Be glad you're not here, rookie. So... A fun fact, <clears throat> uh, reference to the original Resident Evil 2, is this Welcome Leon sign. Uh, it was misspelled, and it had two L's, and if you, like, there's the other L hidden under the paperwork there. So, they still left it in the game. Also, this JoJo locker is a reference to the original game as well. And while I do know the code to get in there, I'm gonna wait till we find the memo for it. So we're looking at Neil, Elliot, and we don't know this one. Oh yeah, we do David. So Neil, Elliot, and David, it's gonna be Ned. Then here, it's Marvin. Rita, and who knows who that is? It's Scott. Wait, no, it's, it's uh, <clears throat> it's not Scott. Hold on. It's George Scott. There we go. George Scott, Miss, Mr. G. I stopped on the right one by one to showcase the answer. It's a speed loader. Sure, why not? I heard zombie. But I don't see zombie. Maybe he's right outside the door? No. It's right there. Burnt. Alright. So, next up. The evidence room. And what we really would want out of here if we cared would be the grenade launcher. You get that by inputting. Well, you you get the weapons locker key, and that opens that up. But then to open the use, you type in the number of the locker. But there's a problem in that some of the keys are missing, particularly the two and three. So you'll notice that, like for example, 102, I can't open this because I don't have two. 103, I can't open this because I don't have three. But I couldn't open 106 
and 109. So, yeah, we're not going to do those because we don't really need to. Storage locker terminal memo. It appears that the keypad to the locker's terminal is missing a few keys. I suggest that the person responsible for this mess find some spare keys and fix this right now. You know who you are, bastard. Who else would fuck it up this badly? These don't burst through in a minute. So, yeah, here's the photo room. They're just here to, to drop these things off. Don't need them. Yeah, why not? Red herb. Oh, there's a uh, memo here. Medicinal benefits of herbs. Okay, so this is... Yeah, like, if it's a note that explains gameplay, then I'm not going to read it. That That's kind of how we've always done it on the stream. Go up to the third floor from here. Well, I digress. So this is a portable safe. We'll do this puzzle once to get it on, on file. But I'm not like super worried about it. So one, two, three, four. So it's going to be, no, fuck. I'm terrible at that. That gives us one of the spare keys for the thing. Then we have a lock, which I know the combination, but I I don't know the combination. We're just going to let him hang out. And we can't get through here because there's steam blocking the way, so we're going to have to fix that problem. That's going to require getting a valve handle. Another locker with one of those locks. So this is a reused asset from Resident Evil 7. This is the mannequin. They reused a few things from Resident Evil 7. But this is one of them. They put this here to fuck with you. Because when you're walking up to it, you just see that shadow. There's the liquor. That thing always creeped me the fuck out. This guy is nothing but fucking trouble. But we're here for our first pack increase. Some guy's scribblings. 
damn those corporate assholes, they cut me off. After all I've done for them, but if that's how it's going to be, so be it. I might have a little fun of my own as the world goes to shit. I board all those filthy pigs up in a steel pen and set some C4. All I gotta do is detonate it and say sayonara, suckers. But it's no fun if it's over too soon. So maybe I'll give that one raving loon something to really squeal about. Yeah, maybe I'll give him a little toy and tell him, kill the guy next to you and I'll spare the others. I wonder what he'll do. You yell about justice and pride, but how many times did you go against me, your own superior? Yeah, you're such a good cop, so good you had to die. Man, is this fun. I need some music for this. So that guy is clearly unhinged. But yeah, there's some C4 there that we got to detonate. If we want to get into that room, which we do. So, hold on one second, because it didn't save my settings, which also could be fucking with me, but... Yeah, I don't know why it's doing controller speaker output. Maybe that's something new they added to the game, like after I stopped playing it. I will think we're going to swap to the minigun. Um, we're gonna do ourselves a little little flavor here. This will be handy later. I like she can move all these like granted they're on sliders, but still that's some fucking like strength. Those are heavy as fuck. Sure, we'll do the red book. Like so this is a casual last run, so like normally I'd be at this part in just five, six minutes maybe. But here we are already twenty minutes in. Oh right, and we got the uh passcode to this. Lion is it's Lionhead Thistle. Which this game is what taught me what the fuck a thistle was. And a bird. And we got that from the notebook. Uh, oh, that cop who got torn in half. Thanks, Marvin. And yeah, Marvin's not doing so hot. Yeah, we gotta run up to the, the second floor, but before we do, we need to unlock this door. That way when we <clears throat> are done with this key, we can just shit can it. I don't know, maybe I should have done a fun outfit for her, 
but eh. I don't play with the original outfits too too terribly much. Guide pamphlet. Welcome to Raccoon City. Did you know, while we are the home of pharmaceutical giant Umbrella Corporation, Raccoon City is a vibrant and dynamic city with a long, rich history of its own. This guide will introduce you to just a few of the more unusual points of interest our city has to offer. Raccoon City Police Station. The building in the center of town wasn't always a police station. In fact, it used to be an art museum. Various features like the unusual clock tower and the goddess statue in the main hall remind us of a bygone era. Orphanage. Just a few blocks from the police station is an orphanage founded and run by the Umbrella Corporation with the help of generous donations from businesses and citizens alike. The building is known for its stained glass window which attracts visitors from around the world. Clock tower. <clears throat> Mm, you know what? Yeah, we might have to get us a, a clock tower run in. <clears throat> I do want to go through Survivor, but if we got a little bit of time, maybe we'll get a clock tower run. That like, sounds pretty fun. So we have this like king dude. They changed this puzzle entirely. Like it's functionally still the same. So if we give him his book, he will drop his scepter. If we examine the scepter, oh, there's a switch on the back. We have a red jewel. We'll need that later. Also, the weapons key card for funsies. Our article, the red stone. The ruby that captivated Edward the Black Prince. The pearl that the Queen of the Nile milked dry. The diamond that led a queen to the guillotine. There is no end to the number of tales related to the appeal of jewels. This mysterious red stone is simply the latest to sparkle among them. Like those other jewels, this one's origin is unknown. It's said that it once adorned a noble woman's jeweled box and was even dedicated to a wise king. This fall, the stone that's long been shrouded in legend will be on display during auction. There are sure to be many eager enthusiasts there. But dear reader, one would do well to approach with care for devilry lies in beauty's shadow. This jewel has turned caring nobles who love their subjects into despots who... who more terrible than Caligula, and we have the tales to prove it. Seriously, it's precisely because these jewels are bathed in blood that their luster stirs something in the hearts of people everywhere. Alright, so we need a crank for that. Cool. So, this helicopter just crashed in here. Hey! Blair? Leon! I'll be right there! Sorry, dead guy. I got to talk to my new boyfriend. Leon, you really got to stop meeting like this. Are you all right? Please chop it. Just go away. Yeah, I'm fine. I take it you don't have kids. No, no. It's good to see your face, though. How are you holding up? Well, the night, huh? Yeah. Find your brother. He's boom. He is the explosion. Just in case it can't get any worse. Leon, you should get going. Don't worry about me. Just get your 
yourself to see. No, Leon, seriously, they're getting through the fence. Please, just go. We're gonna make it. Both of us. Oh no. Oh god. Whatever will we do? <laughs> I love its infinite ammo weapons. So there's our valve handle. There's also the electrical part that we're going to need for here in just a moment. I I never tried this door for this particular run through, but it's blocked by that the whole time, so we would have never made it. Electrical part. Do 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 do. do. Marvin's not doing so hot. So now we gotta use this valve handle to get through. Do <clears throat> zombies one in? So between Resident Evil 2 Remake and Resident Evil 3 Remake, one thing that they they changed up a little bit is how effective shooting out um, uh, zombies' legs are. On here, you can just totally like sweep the leg. It's pretty effective. So we got our detonator. Locker room. Cap. I need to remember this is a heart key door. Let's just get this out of our inventory. I'm not actually going to take the grenade launcher. Because we, we just really don't need that. But, boom. There we go. If we ever wanted it. Oh, no. 
<laughs> oh no. Call an ambulance, but not for me. Alright, so we made it to the star's office. Some really noteworthy things here. <clears throat> First is the Made in Heaven jacket. That is a. That's Chris's jacket and it is a Resident Evil 1 reference. And we've got. This is Rebecca's first aid bag, which you can get a first aid spray from. This is Jill's desk. There's her beret. You also see they changed the picture from some dude to uh, her dog or a dog. This is Wesker's office. That is, which granted I can't really like get a good picture of it, but that is the original picture from Resident Evil 2 that shows the stars team. Internal memo. September 22nd, 1998, Office Supply Internal Relocation Notice. Heat resistant three number combination safe. Moved from Star's office to West office first floor. The combo is left nine, right 15, left seven. Please change the combo ASAP upon receipt. RPD Facility Maintenance Department. We need that battery to make a fully functioning detonator. I think that's everything we needed from here. Um, there is a memo, but it's it's in there, and we can't get to it without the uh, USB drive. So for now, we're going to leave that be. And if you're like, but wait, doesn't this take game take place in 1998? Did USB drives even exist then? The answer is they actually did. They were not like super commercially available. But they absolutely did exist. That was one thing I, I felt pretty necessary to research. Because I, I didn't fucking believe it. So like, there's no way. You're heckin' bamboozling me. Alright. So, for this one, this is the unicorn. Which is fish, scorpion, jug, and again we got that from that memo we got at the beginning of the game. Jug. Well, this is going to take us into the library. But since we're here, we're going to do the, the detonator. Finally, the maiden. It's woman bow snake.
I heard it run up. I think we're going to be swapping back to the rocket launcher. Like, the machine gun's fun, but liquors. Clear deals away more liquors. Leon deals away more dogs. So we've unlocked the secret passage in the RPD. So you can see I have tons of saves here. So we're going to try to do leap boss strats for a run, because I mean, fuck it. So there is 
an item in there. However, we can't get it without a stars badge. And to get the stars badge, we have to go through a whole side quest. I'll see if I remember how to do it. I eventually stopped getting it for everybody because it was just it was more dangerous than anything. Small child. It's okay. Won't hurt you, I promise. Can we talk? Here, let me take my hand. I'm sorry, I can't understand you. Anyway, you know how boring is right behind you. What? What? Oh hell no! It's old Birkin. So they they definitely wanted Birkin to be around a lot sooner. I don't remember how to use a knife. Oof. My G. G, the pro gamer knife strat. We sure in the hell did. <clears throat> the knife is super effective. And if you play on PC, which we're not, we're playing on PS4, but if you play on PC and you get, uh, you know, some really high FPS, the knife does even more damage. The knife is so incredibly broken on PC, but I'm one of those people, like, because there's people out there like, oh, you can't do knife strat on console. I guess the fuck you can, even on hardcore. Small child. Are you sure? Yeah, I promise. Everything's fine. <laughs> we need you to lower that ladder for me. Will you help me find my mom? <sighs> your mom is down here? I think so. God, that end of Zoe DLC was so fucking good. I know it's dumb to talk about again, but damn. It's so good. It's one. One of these game cases down. So we have all sorts of like equipment down here that we didn't pick up <laughs> doing the knife strap comfortably requires two knives you do get your knife back if you stab like use as a defensive item you do get it back after the fight which is nice 
and you can get like 50 handgun bullets here. This is, if you do the knife strat successfully, it's such a great place to stock up. By the way, it's the only time we're knifing them. Otherwise, we'll be here all night. I ain't knifing them on them later difficulties. Yeah, we're, we'll head there later. Small child. I'm mainly making sure that there's no, like, memos in here. There's not. Because, like, we really don't need items too terribly bad. I just want to make sure that we don't run by any memos. Guess what we get now? Another side pack. So, question. Who the fuck was she on the phone with? At the very beginning of the game, she's like, man, everybody thinks I'm getting in trouble. Who are you on the phone with? Are there other Redfield siblings? Maybe a, a bit more of a distant relative? Like... Insert a parking card. If there's one thing about Chief Irons that they, I feel like they did even better in the remake is just to make him such a son of a bitch. Such a motherfucker. I hate his guts. Thank you. 
Raccoon Monthly, June issue. Attention all Raccoon City heroes. What the fuck does he need a child for? He needs her because he's working for William Birkin and William Birkin's wife and as part of all this mess, he's supposed to be taking care of her. We will find out more for sure, uh, during this run through. But yeah, it's, that is his, his job that he's an absolute motherfucker at. Who's the most feared yet respected man in town? The answer should be obvious to any resident of our fair city. That's right. It's Police Chief Brian Irons, the man that scares the bejesus out of criminals everywhere and stern father that loves every last one of us sinful citizens. Chief Irons is known for his great charity work, including big contributions to the orphanage, support for abused women, art preservation, animal conservation. Let us know if we missed anything. Just when does our great hero sleep? When asked, the city is my extended family. I'm just doing what I do for my family, Chief Iron said with a soft smile. Chief? Yes. That bastard is the police chief. Express elevator to chief's office, not for general use. So he's got a private fucking elevator down to the parking garage. Fuck. I wasn't sure where he was hiding at. Because normally I walk through this room. I don't think she has to come into the morgue, but a hey, why not? Oh, wasn't what I was thinking of. This is what I was thinking of. Gonna block the way. Ruin their surprise here a little bit. See, so yeah, that's the diamond key. He won't be able to get out. Autopsy record number 53477. Name of deceased Justin Hansen. Male, Caucasian, 39 years old. Observations. Found dead in jail cell bed by staff. Hands are still clenched tight due to rigor mortis, which should be coming to an end. It's highly likely that he died just after lights out. The deceased was a known kleptomaniac, incarcerated several, multiple times. Incredibly, he would steal even while in jail, even though, though that was consistent with his clinical diagnosis. So that guy, that's Justin Hammond. Sayonara, Justin.
So this, <laughs> this liquor, this is the Spider-Man kiss of liquors. Just kidding. Normally, he doesn't fucking notice me when I walk through. Yoinks. A message from Mr. Raccoon. Howdy, boys and girls. It's your pal from the Raccoon City Zoo. It's always great to see you. Today, I want to talk about something really important to me. You know my popular Mr. Raccoon toys? Well, I heard some bad kids have been using them for target practice, but that makes me really sad. Good little kids wouldn't be that mean, right? Plus, it's super, super dangerous. So just don't do it. Anyway, see you at the zoo. Mr. Raccoon out. So Mr. Raccoon himself is not a reference to, uh, to any games, but the zoo has been visited in one of the Resident Evil games. is uh, Resident Evil Outbreak File 2. <laughs> Equipment Disposal Notice. Items to be disposed. Key to patrol car 7439. Details. Bent key. No longer usable, but can still open the car's doors and trunk with its keyless entry buttons. And if we look inside this box, it's the key to 7439. This is a very optional door. To be honest, it's just another red herb. As far as I'm concerned, but it's still nice. Yeah, one of the Mr. Raccoon statues is right here you can see the base for it but I've already eliminated all of them so you can't actually see it but normally be sitting there dancing Claire doesn't even go back there, I don't think. So she just gets a totally upgraded handgun. Which this one is better, but I just, I just don't like it, even though it's pretty much just like Resident Evil 4. Just not a fan. be a memo in here. Well, maybe not. Oh yeah, those make the grenade launcher even better, but pretty pretty unnecessary for us. We're just gonna restore power of this elevator. Personal ride to the chief's office.
I will say the chief in the original game, he does more to try to like actively deceive you. I mean, he still doesn't do a very good job at it, but he tries. Here, he literally says one line, and he's like, fuck you, double-crossed. Copy of emails to Chief Irons. Please, Chief Irons, as thanks for your unwavering support, I have deposited a small sum into your account to use as you see fit. I hope I can count on you to maintain surveillance of your subordinates, especially the ones who survived that mansion. Get rid of them if you must. WB, so William Birkin. Please, Chief Irons, I ran into some trouble with Umbrella Headquarters. The suits want to take the fruit of my research away. But don't worry, this will all blow over soon. You just keep doing what I tell you to and everything will be alright. Please, Chief Irons, you are up to the, you are to up the security around my lab. Your muscle heads are to shoot any suspicious person on site. Doesn't matter if they kill them or even if they're Umbrella employees. I'm so close to completing G and no asshole is going to get in my way. Please, Chief Irons, get your shit together and do your fucking job. I told you I need more security in the sewers. Don't you know how critical of a time this is for me? As for the money, I can pay you whatever once I take over, but not before. Why don't you get that? Never forget how expendable you are. <clears throat> See, I kind of dick it. Pair shop letter. From your description regarding the electronic lock on the door in the police chief's office, sounds like something needs replacing. You'll need some power panel parts to fix the issue. Fortunately, a repairman from one of our stores is at the station to repair the bell in the clock tower. We sent a few spare parts with him, and he reported that he left one in the third floor east storage room. If something goes wrong or you need more than one, please don't hesitate to seek him out in the clock tower. We look forward to serving you again. So there's one in the clock tower and one in the east floor storage room. Then we have this relief. Hmm. Wonder if there's anything suspicious about it. There is. We got a heart key. Music box. A liquor. Confiscation report. Date August fourteenth, nineteen ninety eight. RPD second floor waiting room. Reason for confiscation, a suspicious man is found at the location listed above. When confronted by an officer, he tried to escape by acting confused, but was arrested. A note he had on him was confiscated. Remarks, it's not like everyone doesn't know who it is, but it's Justin Hansen, age 39, city resident, single, and a regular fixture in our jail. He wasn't a bad guy per se, just a bit of a bird-brained kleptomaniac. Can't believe he tried to pull a fast one at a police station of all places, though. It was a scrap of paper in a plastic bag. Six two eleven. That's oh, okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't normally open that one, but we will for funsies. Oh, yeah, it requires a club key, which I don't think Claire gets that key.
can't get through there yet. So it's up the stairs we go. To be honest, I forget. Okay, so this is the storage room. Got it. That's one of the parts that we'll need. That's locked by its heaven lock, that's alright. We're gonna have to hit around from the clock tower part. Very close. So that changes what way the water's gonna flow out here in a little bit. They made it a little, like, ever so slightly more believable by, um, like, not having the tank conveniently burst in the right spot. Hmm. Oh, he'll he'll be up. So we gotta get to the clock tower, third floor. Check on our boy Marvin over here. Oh God, no. Marvin. Rip Marvin. Sorry. He's upstairs. I have these keys. I don't remember what to do next. <laughs> like I know I have to get to the clock tower and like ring the bell up there. I just don't remember how to get up there like properly. Hey, there's our stars badge. We're going to need that. Let me start throwing these in here. So, a thing about 
how his AI works is he will uh he actually follows the player using an advanced like a enhanced version of Jack's stalking AI. So, like, they used it as the basis, but they tweaked it, made it better. All sorts of fun stuff. I'm trying to remember any more diamond doors. Okay, that, that'll get us to the clock tower. And we're done with the heart key. One thing about Mr. X, he, uh, when you pick up that part, he usually will, like, come and invade your shit. I think he got a little lost. So wait, the code for this one, because we did get it earlier, is 9157. Where we're running around. He absolutely can hear us and will stalk our shit. The one place he won't chase you is the uh, star's office. Because he has certain areas he's not allowed to go. He'll hang out right outside and fucking camp it. But he won't like rush in there. Have I played Alien Isolation? Uh, some of it. I I never beat it, but yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's pretty fucking scary. It's actually one that I would like to like revisit and actually get through on stream. Letter of Stars members. To my best of stars, buds. How y'all doing in that drab old station? Hanging in there against old irons? Me? I just got back from a date with a hot chick. I bet you can guess what we got to under her extra large umbrella. Europe is amazing. One month is in no way enough to even scratch the surface. Maybe I'll send my vacation for another six months. Barry, don't even think of coming to join me. Wouldn't want to make all the cute girls cry, yeah? So you just leave the babes to me. Jill, if Claire tries to contact you, please let her know I'm okay. Chris Redfield, August 29th. You're right, it doesn't sound like Chris. Because Chris is very poorly th trying to throw irons off his scent. By making it seem like he's totally not chasing Umbrella around out there. Sucking the AI always makes me think of that. My brother loves the game and has played through it a bunch. It is a... Yeah, it's it's definitely a very scary game. Especially where combat is not emphasized. I I want to get back to it. I think this is the last time indoor. Yeah. It's amazing what I do and don't remember. Now, the only thing in here is another one of those puzzles. Uh, and that would give me the other spare key. But I'm not worried about it. Yeah. 
Yeah, they they kept working on the stalking AI, but they kind of fucked it up a little bit in Resident Evil Three because Nemesis is so scripted that like he barely gets to use any of it. Here, Mr. X. So like Mr. X really does patrol the station at all times. He he is an entity that just patrols the station and he always has a presence even if he's nowhere near you. If you run, slam through doors, fight zombies, he will find your ass and he will come after you. Like that's that's just part of like how he works. Howie wowie. Repair plan. Location, police station, west side clock tower. Due to the high cultural value of the bell, I'm calling a special send to make the repairs. We'll go over the details once they're on the scene, but in the meantime, I'll take steps to secure the bell since the yoke is threatening to break. So we basically learned that the clock tower is about to break, and oh, would you look at that. Our parts box is up there. Hmm, we're going to need that. Oh shit, normally I do have the uh, the parts for it. I know, damn it. <laughs> I'll have to remember where to get those. He doesn't know who you are, but he has a very specific set of skills. He will find you, and he will kill you. Um, okay, so we need the gears. Yeah, like, you can see him pretty much anywhere. Third floor? Second floor. Loser. <laughs> but yeah, like like I said, he really does patrol and like he the game doesn't tell him as much information as it does with Jack, for example. Um, like Jack and Margaret and them. Like it the game tells them pretty much everything about you all the time, from what I can tell. But here, Mr. X, they only tell him information if you do certain things. Running, and like, for example, going full sprint into a door like that, that gets his attention. You don't like that shit very much. This room's dark as fuck, by the way. There we go, there's our, our other part. It's been interesting because I had a route for this game pretty pretty well optimized. 
Like, I normally would be very far in the game right now. So, I mean, I'm, I'm doing pretty good, but... Could be doing better. I'd have to go watch those old runs again. Be like, oh yeah, that's how I played it. Now, sometimes if certain events in the game happens, they will teleport Mister X around if they need him to be nearby for something, but. Generally speaking, like, he just patrols, and depending on how much you're fucking up, he will, he'll find you sooner, based on that. Puzzle time. one by heart. So the thing that's in there is a parking pass. I guess we did accidentally not activate a particular cutscene that shows you that it's hanging there, but yeah, it's been the goal. So we get to play as Sherry. We're going to need this here in a minute. If we go over here, we can see... Oh, there's a hole in the wall that's taped up. For some reason, she doesn't have it in order to, to rip it down but we do have a puzzle we can do What is the, okay, so it is that one it's supposed to be circle, oh, it's supposed to be circle star. Is there another one that's like that? Oh, 
that doesn't fit at all. So, and then triangle, circle, circle star, and then, yeah, that one's not matching at all. Did I fuck up on this first one? No, the second block is right. It's supposed to be star, triangle, square. I guess that one's in the wrong spot. Yeah, I've got the I've actually got the solution printed <laughs> here. So the second one is right and the fourth one is right. I may need to swap the first and the third, we'll see. There is a trophy for solving that in under a minute, and I hated it. Just shows you how bad I am at puzzles. Hey, if you press L2, she crouches. It's her. It's her superpower, Captain. And honestly, the game's like kind of fucking dark. That's actually okay. It was the min max brightness. It's saving. Yeah, we're in an orphanage right now playing as Sherry. I don't know, like, she runs like she's a little gremlin. Sally's Diary. January 4th. Wednesdays are perf perfectically great days. Because we get snacks and ice cream. I hate the last place I was at. The teachers were all meanies. It was a study, study, study. And there was no ice cream. I love, love, love it here. There was an important rule made today. Everyone must write a diary, get health checkups, and we ain't allowed outside by ourselves. It's good we don't have to go to school. I don't want to go and get picked on from old clothes, especially not by the guy that used to wear them. The orphanage director is coming today, so I'm a, so I'm a gonna wear my most favoriteest checkered blue outfit. The director is tall, the director has a mustache, the director is a policeman. So, Irons is the director. Of the orphanage that we're in right now, which is not good. Directors, an asshole. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he is. He is quite the motherfucker. So, I just want to point this out another reused asset from Resident Evil 7. Which in of itself was also a reference, I guess, to the end of Zoe DLC as well as Resident Evil 2.
somebody's diary. If you're reading this, go call Khaleesi. Boogeyman's here, eating everybody. Mini Bark Boogeyman's here. Help, they're coming. Help me, mommy. So here's Elizabeth Warren, the mayor's daughter. She was referenced in the original game, and we even got to see her like this. Um, in the Ghost Survivors DLC, she uh, she's actually a playable character. Where you going, Sherry? I told you to stay put. <sighs> you need to learn to listen. Leave me alone. Just please. Time to teach some manners. This was actually one of my favorite parts of the remake. Because this felt so fucking intense the very first time you did it. And like, he's not a total fucking idiot. Like, yeah, he's dumb, but like, he at least thinks to lock the door. And keep you from getting out that way. I know a lot of people will wait like around there, but I always just wait here under this table. Doesn't fucking matter. Oh, well, there's chains on the outside. Can't get in. Yeah, I was gonna say, she's not a total bonehead. She at least tries to lock him out. 
but it kind of pulls a shining on her. What happened? Thirty minutes earlier. Little under thirty minutes before my forced break. Sherry, all right? For now. Slow, you bastard! You hurt her. Serious? Damn it! Just you wait, asshole. I like how Claire called him an asshole as well. It's almost like he's universally thought of as an asshole. <clears throat> Yeah, when we play the Leon part, we'll have to go into gun shop Kendo. But Claire doesn't do that. She goes up uh, here on the side for her next section. Kendo is another one of the gun survivors. Of the ghost survivors, but those aren't canon. Normally, we would just run through. The, the first one is really good, which uh, 
Sorry, I, I didn't catch that, like, when... When I was talking about it. What, uh... Which first one? Oh, Gun Survivor. Uh, yeah, it's actually... Like, that game got shit over the years that it didn't really deserve. I don't think it's a bad game. It's weird as fuck. But no, I'll be excited to go through it. So one thing I don't get is why there's no chain. Hello? Yet we know that the uh, the shining has already happened because there's a door fucked up. You know, I never really noticed that, like, she doesn't go anywhere. Like, it makes sense, but I never, like, remembered her being pinned down there. So, yeah, this was, like, his little base of operations. He, just like in the original game, does a lot of, like, taxidermy and shit. Like, very unethical taxidermy. Yeah, for this part, you can literally just ignore her. her dad. Sherry's fine. You know, Sherry? Impressive display of strength. What happened to her? We have to assess the situation. Who are you? I'm Claire. Mercedes. Help me. Where is she? Hello? Where? Where's oh, she? Annette. Where are you going? Look, I don't have time to put 20 questions. <coughs> Everything's under control. I need to find Sherry. My daughter is not your concern. What a shitty mom.
report about G. The G virus clinical trial will be entering its final phase very soon. Before G, the new creature that will surpass humans, is born, allow me to predict a few things about its biology and biological functions. Intelligence. The subject's intelligence will begin to drop immediately, with their linguistic abilities disappearing within a matter of days. Finally, they will lose their capacity to reason and their humanity. G will be a, a creature of pure instinct, driven only by a need to survive and reproduce. Physical abilities. Due to its unusually accelerated cell division evolution, it will be highly adaptable to any environment. I want to pause on reading the memo to just say that I only just noticed that they used the wrong do for this. All right, then. Furthermore, with its amazing ability to repair itself through regeneration, it will be extremely difficult to completely kill it with any conventional small firepower. <sighs> Reproductive behavior. G's most remarkable feature will be its intense desire to reproduce. It will instinctively search out humans with DNA that closest matches its own and implant an embryo in them. But the chances of success are very low, and if the DNA is not a close enough of a match, an underdeveloped G creature will be produced instead. I suppose the only ones who might be a close enough match would be any biological children of the subject, though. So, yeah, Birkin has been stalking Sherry because it. Well, Birkin, and as he is now, like, only wants to b basically get its embryo planted and growing. So we need the like T tool or whatever for that. Normally I'm at this part at about the hour, I think it's like the hour five minute mark. So we haven't really like farted around too much. This is probably going to be a three, three and a half hour run. Alright, I forgot about this room. When you come in here, like it's lit from the get go. Copies of emails to Umbrella HQ. Director Owens, there are alarms going off all over Nest. I don't know what's going on, but I can hear gunfire and I can't reach my section chief. We're trapped. Please send help ASAP. Director Owens, the situation here is dire. Nest has been contaminated with the virus. It's unbelievable. The failsafe system didn't activate at all. Is this the work of outsiders? I can't imagine who else it could be. But why? Mayor and Kim are dead. I can't stop coughing. Why won't you answer me? Director Owens, you. It was you all... Uh... I like they had enough time to like write the formality. Director Owens. <sighs> but he couldn't type shit beyond that.
Yeah, Annette does not win any Mother of the Year awards for fucking sure. Sewers Company Pamphlet. Greetings from the CEO. Thank you for your interest in Knight's Construction Company. Over the past 20 years, we have had the honor to work on the sewer systems of some of our country's greatest cities, while never losing sight of our two core principles of playfulness and superior industrial design. At KCC, we believe that just because our work is subterranean doesn't mean our designs have to be subpar. More refined than a queen, more polished than a knight, and more pleasant a, and as pleasant as a pawn, our work is sure to bring great victory to everyone involved. May we all meet on the field someday. Knights Construction Company CEO, World Chess Alliance Honorary Member, Raccoon Chess Club Honorary Advisor, Fisher Chess Lovers Guild Honorary Director, R.B. Fisher. Woo! Man, that person takes themselves super serious. We'll read these memos here in a little bit when they're a bit more relevant, but just know we have to get some chess pieces for now. stoked that we're we're really like in in the the victory lap here on this uh, like re run re series run delivery receipt the item below has been delivered to your location specified in your order heat resistance safe the combination is written on the side of the safe and chalk please remember to erase it before you use the safe the safe that they're talking about is actually just over here. So we'll go ahead and crack that dude open. We didn't open one of the safes, nor did we open any of the lockers. This weren't really worth it. So if you look on the side, it's 212.8. What? It worked. Reinforced frame for the SLS 60. So the SLS, if I would combine all those parts, would actually be pretty fucking badass. Ooh, what a way to go. More storage capacity. You love it.
Normally that tape's a waste of time, but we'll get it this time. Oh, I whipped. I don't think Claire has to come this way. We're just doing that. This one ends up being a shortcut. Oh, okay. It takes us here. Neat. This is one place we need to get to anyway, so it works out. This part has killed runs for me, or at least made them so incredibly difficult. Like, I hate running the sewers, man. This place is terrible. It's where all fun goes to die. This will take me a second. Your boy never remembers how these go. So we need both these plugs. That was the one I was worried about. Of 
force break in five minutes. Okay, you can get in from either side of that door. So I went the opposite way that I normally go. I don't think there's any other cool shit. Like on the way. I feel like I took, there, there was a more efficient way to get to where I'm wanting to go. I feel like this ain't it. It's fine, I can go ahead and get these in place and just get them in my inventory. I remember I used to get all of them in like one go. So basically you have to put them in the proper spots. Exactly, we'll figure it out later. So I got I have one I have to go get anyways. I just want to get those out of my inventory. Why not? Let's make the SLS 60 a badass gun really quick. So it's got the speed loader and then it gets that special nuzzle. Well, it's a fire special rounds. Yeah, I just took a big gas circle, went nowhere. That's fine, this works. We're just not doing this very efficiently at all. I'll say it sucks that I'm getting tired already. Even after drinking this big ass energy drink. I, I do need that, but beforehand. See if there's anything worthwhile in here, and there's not. So we can we can cut access off to this, because that causes that to lift up, so you can't take it. But we also want to get in there. It's real damn important. There's a hidden ass elevator up there. Yes. 
Tamalock open, and we are back here before the Birkin fight. Dun -dun. Fuck. Stop. Scared, scared the shit out of me. Okay, so I have a very tiny forced break to take. Um, at the very least, I have to hop off camera. So, yeah, burp. I'm back. So just as a heads up, there's another force break in 30 minutes. That that was the break though. Like we're already done with it. Yeah, sorry about that, Savvy. I uh, I tried to like keep updates on when that was gonna happen. Oh, wait, hold up. We have a very small side mission, but I want to do it anyways. It's not worth it at all because I'm not even going to use the reward, but let's do it real quick. So we we need to get the, the machine pistol from the star's office. The fastest way there is through here. I thought I heard a liquor. So, there's the submachine gun, and then we gotta take this and retract that. So I don't, I don't normally do like get these, but it's fairly worth, especially on Leon's. If you, of course, don't have an infinite ammo rocket launcher. <laughs> During normal play, yeah, it's worth. That's really not that far of a run. If you already did everything to unlock the first half of it. Cool. So now we go to the second half. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, by unlocking this shortcut, you can go all the way from the RPD down to that sewer section we were just at. It's just fucking wild to me. What's even wilder is they have a special unlock for down here. We can get the suppressor for the MQ-11. That turns it into a, a better machine gun. Or some shit. Oh yeah, there was there was this thing. I didn't even look at this in here. Raccoon City Jazz Festival. 
So it's just SZF if you look at everything that's circled. And that's in the uh, sewer control room. That's where that locks at, but it's not really worth it. I was done with the sewers. This has been a, a horrible sewer run as far as efficiency goes, but I'm not really playing for efficiency, so it doesn't matter. We do have one little bonus thing to do. We've got a video team to watch. USS and digital video cassette. USS is the Umbrella Special Service. Uh, basically, they're, they're kind of like the UBCS, but like directly employed by Umbrella, and they usually do all the... This shady shit. <sighs> They're the dudes that wear the really dark armor and not like the green fatigues. It's all special op shit. Glad I watched that. that. Yeah, I bet you are clear. We'll put this in here. This might be wrong, though. Hey, boy, doesn't remember chess pieces. So let's read the memo for that, just so we have it. Unlocking the U-area door. I also think it tells you how to unlock the door to the U-area during the last mad dash of a transfer. I know you have to stick one plug into each terminal, but if anyone remembers which plug goes where, please be a pal and share by posting info on this board. Pretty sure the Rook and Knight are on the same wall, and the Bishop and Queen aren't next to each other. The Queen and Rook are opposite each other, too. Makes it pretty easy to figure out, but... That one we just have to manage the power, but like I have it fucking ingrained in my brain what the the solution is. Shit. If you stand No. Is it here? There's a spot you can stand where he can't get to you. Is this it? Or are you gonna make me look like a fucking fool?
So Bergen's about to smash in, but we are going to speed run past him really quick. Bye, you ugly motherfucker. That boss fight is such a pain in the dick, like on some of the other difficulties. And, you know, without an infinite rocket launcher. I like that she like put a rocket launcher up entirely just to uh like clean up a little bit. She is super the fuck what not alright. I'm here to help. Sherry's been implanted. She can't be saved. You're her mother. Get in here! You don't understand. William is still out there, and if I don't stop him, this conversation is over. <laughs> I like that she goes from writing her off as dead to be like, okay, I can treat her. Yeah, like, Claire and Sherry have a much better relationship, despite it being so sudden, versus Sherry and her mom. Like, her mom kind of sucks. Because she's too fucking obsessed with the, the G-Virus project. Check everything. There's no turning back. 
That's very true. Once we take this tram, we can't come back. Sayonara, motherfuckers. This one, does Sherry fall down from the bed when they're in the train? We'll see. without me until I came along and got you all sorts of trouble. Can I have something of yours? I don't want it. Really? Why not? It's so pretty. It's from my mom. On my birthday last year. All I really wanted was for her to come home more. Seems like your mom doesn't care, but uh, hey, uh, Sherry, come uh, here. Uh, 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 hey, hang in there, okay? Now arriving on scene. It's okay. I've got you. So I had a thing to do, so I had to hop off camera for a sec. I'm getting you treatment. Just hold on, Sherry. It's okay. I figured that cutscene was, uh, was a good, good chance. For your safety, stand clear until the doors are fully open. For your safety, stand clear until the doors are fully open. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's three doors. Because they go through that that many lengths to keep whatever BOW bullshit goes on in here out. Viral agent. That's it. That's gotta be it. Hmm. Hey. Hey, Sherry. Alright, I've returned for the go. moment. You stay right here, though, okay? I'll be back soon. I promise. Got the ID wristband. Important. S wide alert. Due to an incident in the north area, all nest personnel are immediately are to immediately use the devil antiviral agent on themselves. Devil is the only way to prevent G mutation. If you've been infected with the G virus, seek help immediately to target and destroy the G cells in your body. C meals automatically generate in the event of an emergency. Please do not reply to this message. So we've seen the uh the devil vaccine before as we had to synthesize it as Claire in the original game oh look at that they decided out of the goodness of their hearts to give me the grenade launch so they're like yeah you didn't get it and since you went the whole game without it we'll give it to you as a freebie nah homie I'm good don't worry about me I am perfectly fine I do think I'm going to get in a save, but let's read this memo first. Nap room log. So we see names here. Wayne Lee. He entered, but he never left. So there's an employee resting. 
is what that tells us. This is the last area of the game, by the way. I think I'll be good for the Leon B run. I don't know if I'll be good for anything past that. So I was going to just jump into RE3. But I don't know if I'll have an RE3 run in me. Well, thank you. Yeah, can, like I woke up at 9.30 this morning. This is Wayne Lee. And we've upgraded our ID wristband now that we have level 2 security. Oh, yeah, that goes on the uh, electric key. You get on that and pick up. So now that we've upgraded, we can actually go into the facility proper. Special Forces recording. Alpha to Ghost, target moving to the west area. Must be going to retrieve the G-Virus and antiviral agent. This is Ghost, understood. Rendezvous at point W3. Roger. This is Alpha, arrived at destination. Understood. Stand by for target. This is Alpha. I've got eyes on the target. He's going to open the safe. Roger, awaiting the signal. Got eyes on the G-Virus. We're going in. Dr. Birkin, you'll come along with us quietly. In order to get to the west area, we need level 3 clearance. So we have to upgrade our bracelet again. Here in the east area. We, uh, back when I was playing this game a lot. I could beat it in just under two hours. Which, we're at just over two hours. It'll probably be 2.30, 2.40, maybe. Uh, it'll probably be about our final time. It's like, I'm not... I'm not like rushing through and like not reading stuff like I usually do when I play it. I want to actually, you know, get that lore out there. As like if they're gonna use any lore from previous games, this would be possibly one of them. Oh, there's a level three bracelet just waiting for the taking. They changed this area entirely. Those guys are motherfuckers. Um, you, there's only two ways to kill them. One is to shoot the like orange bulbousy things on them, 
And the second is to uh, use some sort of flame weapon, like flame rounds from a grenade launcher or a rocket launcher, for example. Then this thing spit out what I need. So we're going to actually try to find the codes, like, normally. I have the codes here to, like, really shorten this place up. But we're going to try to, like, naturally find the codes. Because we need to unlock these two areas that show locked. These guys will instant kill you if they get a hold of you, by the way. So it's 3123. Three. So, in order to read those symbols, uh, you have to look at the negative space. I'll go back, I'm just checking for any. anybody lingering. I. I want to go ahead and get them triggered so that way we can kind of look at it safely. So like, don't look at the white on this. Look at the space. Look at the dark space. <laughs> so that first one, the dark space makes a number three, and then a number one, and then a two, and then a three. This one is two. We don't really know the rest. Herbicide synthesis, plant 43, herbicide synthesis. Place an empty cartridge into the solution dispenser. Add the required amount of UMB number 21. Cool immediately. So that's a V-Jolt. I believe it's V-Jolt. They, no, that's not V-Jolt. That is... Because it was originally UMB-17, and then they made it UMB-20. <sighs> 21 is the herbicide specific for this for Plant 43. Plant 43 exhibits astounding growth. If something unfortunate were to occur, it may be hard to control. In the event of an unforeseen incident, manufacture the herbicide using the instructions above in order to minimize damage. All right. So that's the unlock code, but we can't really, like it's 2-0 something, but we can't see the last two digits. I don't remember how we're actually supposed to get those, but let's unlock what we know. That's the very least, because we'll need it to proceed. So we found out the first one's 3123. Three. So here's all the numbers. Think of this like a regular like phone keypad. So look at the black there. That's one. The black space makes a two. The black space makes a three, four, five, six, seven, then eight, nine, and zero. So yeah, you just have to look at the negative space. Cool. So we unlock the ladder. Let's take the ladder and see if we can get the rest of that code, huh? We know it's two zero something.
Oh wait, hold on. I used to always toss a uh, toss a grenade at those guys. So we get this trophy, and there's a memo that'll tell us this. We're gonna look at now. If we look at the underneath of it, it's two zero six seven. Catch that one. One sec. All right, we're back. <laughs> Again, very quickly for spray. We have to go ahead and get the uh, the modulator. Hey, did that not? Yeah, that didn't get him at all. Timelock. It's probably one of the more useless Timelock doors if you go through it like with previous knowledge. If you don't, then you're gonna get kind of shit on. Somebody's note. Everybody's turned. Vegified. They keep coming back again and again. Burn them all. Burn them until their whole body is black as ash. There's no other way. I mean, there is another way, but they're not going to tell you it right away. You know, the while they're fairly equidistant, this one does seem more direct. Now that I think about it, we'll we'll go through here. I mean, we're gonna run into some of those fuckers. I already killed one. So that's fine. Yeah, this is room. So, next one is 2067. And the drug testing lab is open. So that's how we do it normally, but like those codes don't change for the A playthroughs. So like once you know them, you can just skip doing all that shit and just put the stuff in and come over here and make the, the herbicide. So that one you just have to get to match up to the lawn. The solution is is burned in my brain, so like I remember the first time I did it, this shit took me like fifteen minutes. This really is like feels like just a bunch of trial and error.
All right, shit, I have to. I have to chill that shit. Yeah, normally you would like go ahead and make it, and then you would go chill it. Hell, we'll, we'll have to put maybe a pin on that Leon B run. Because that shit is settling in quick. The server room is closed right now. It'll open up. We just got, we have to restore power, which I think we do. No? Oh shit, we restore it here. With the modulator. I'm silly. So it says Murph on there. So what you have to do is you have to examine the modulator. And then change over to Murph. And basically just get everything to line up. Then we use the modulator here. So it's just getting everything lined up. And ta da, there's power. We're about done. I was just checking to make sure there wasn't any like story items in here, which I don't think there is. Yeah, I'm thinking I might go to bed after this. Because it's setting in fast. <laughs> this is still considerably later than I stayed up last night. I've got the week to like work on it, but. We need to get done sooner rather than later. So we're trying to get herbicide because there's like a wall of plants that's surrounding this dude. So we need to kill them. That's kind of been our whole objective for this part. And this takes up the majority of the lab. Um. What? Did I? Oh my god, I didn't pick it up. God damn it. I just like ran after it was done. That's why it's not like prompting me for anything. I'm dumb. <laughs> Easy fix. Just what the hell are the lights back here? See, that zombie needs to get up. That zombie never gets up. 
Like, that's one of the few, like, slouch bodies in the game that you can actually trust. So we've got the hyper-cooled herbicide. Now we're going to go use them on those plants. I thought my game bugged out and I was about to just be like, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. But, no. We, we're good. Like, I wish I could just, like, shoot the, uh, the window open and take it, but gotta do it the game's way. Oh, well. Dispensing solution now. That was one of the last puzzles that I think we really have. You ain't sneaky. Saves that. I know it does auto save. <sighs> Didn't need my face, anyways. That's right. Puts a whole new me in the second face. Oh, okay, so we're. It, it auto saved as we walked in here. That's acceptable. You won't hear me bits about that at all. We are gonna skip this one though. So much for the weed infestation. Just uh Morning. Okay, so he doesn't even drop in like yet. You just gotta No. I remember I used to always like cut hard left when I walked in there. Like that only just reoccurred to me. Dragon, you managed to fucking die with a infinite ammo rocket launcher, you scrub. Yes. The like guy one's just kind of dirty. Yeah, Leon's got it a little worse going through this area, admittedly. Because he doesn't just have to deal with the plant things. He has to deal with another awesome enemy who's going to give it to you. Yeah, we have a lot of, like, story and stuff, but as far as gameplay, we're in the last, like, several minutes. Hey, look, another video tape. Holy guacamole. And we've got OSS. the 
in there. We did it. So we heard the audio of this. Fuck Martinez. What the fuck were you thinking? Our orders were to bring him in alive. We're in, sir. We had a snafu. Target resisted and we had to take him out. That's correct, sir. Martinez, you dumbass. I'll tell you, the boy ain't right. It's basically a lot of cutscenes from this point forward. Like we got, we'll have some like boss fights, but they're gonna be over. They could eat split. Now we do have shit to read. Research diary. Embryo growth observation subject 449. Here we go. Science shit. After the G embryo was implanted in the subject, we made a 50 centimeter incision from the chest to the abdomen and began our observations. With the help of the medical team, the subject's consciousness level was kept between 15 and 10. So lucid. However, the subject's consciousness level deteriorated and further observation was deemed unnecessary. The subject was then disposed of. Reading read observations for subject 501. The G virus was administered to subject 501. 501 mutated into G form and was introduced to a group of 30 test subjects. After two hours, 36 minutes, it was observed that all but one of the test subjects had been implanted with an embryo. All subjects were disposed of. One subject broke down during the experimentation and took their own life. He ain't all there, is he? One of my favorite Young Guns quotes. <laughs> T-Virus Resistance Experimentation, Subjects 628 and 639. We administered the G-Virus to Subject 628, who had shown slight resistance to the T-Virus. The virus was then introduced to Subject 639, with whom 628 had a close relationship. 628 showed some signs of resistance, but had been implanted with an embryo after 24 minutes. T-virus resistance does nothing to stop the mental deterioration caused by the G-virus. Science. Doing science stuff. Holy shit, science. Cool beans, man. And there were some other inventory upgrades that we could have gotten, I think. But I'm not that worried about them. Fee fa fo fa. I want a damn divorce. 
horse. Should have killed him while I had the chance. I don't know why I just killed him. He was present. Honestly, we were more married to our work than each other. But what about Sherry? How could you just leave her all alone while Rackham burned to hell? I couldn't let my daughter grow up in a world with a G virus in it. But that's no excuse. You're gonna get a stern lecturing later. So I want to like let him get some of his attacks out. I don't know why I'm like looking for a first aid spray. It doesn't really matter right now. It's like he'll pick up shit and then he'll just fucking eat it at you if you're not careful. And cause a big old dumb fire and shit. First aid spray, that's what I was looking for. Ah! Oof. Now son, do you want me to whoop your ass? Still gonna eat it. I really just wanted to see this attack. Will do. Target has been neutralized. Ending quarantine.
Sherry's gonna be all right. She'll be weak for a little while, but yes, she's free of the killers. Did you hear that? What happened to her? She got yeeted. Sling him to a new wall, right dying of internal bleeding. Who knows how many bones are broken? Take my daughter. I'm your new mom now. This is it, the final final leg right here. This is one of my favorite scenes, like whenever you're in this elevator. Seeing the fucking core of this place just like barely holding itself together. state why not we 
we actually don't need that anymore. Might as well bring these. Or right, Gucci, as the kids say. Yeah, I really recommend, um, granted not for story purposes, but if you want to see, like, a, a pretty, like, tense run, like, watch my hardcore runs on the YouTube channel. Those are motherfuckers, for sure. Especially the Claire run. The Claire run, I, I, I wanted to quit that run and just start a whole new hardcore run. Yeah, like the, the S plus hardcore clears are definitely worth watching for both, but especially clears. Um, because it's such a fucking, like, clutch uh, thing for me. So of course Leon shows up here, but unlike Leon's, uh, Claire actually gets to, to cross that. She sure is right behind me. They give you a minigun for this fight. Oh wait, I don't remember where you get this. You have to get it from in here. So we get the joint plug. Yeah, it sucks she got implanted again. Yeah, we, after this, we don't see nor hear of Sherry again until Resident Evil 6 when we actually get to play as her, like as a grown woman. Because there's a campaign with her and one of Wesker's kids. It's like they forget about the other character when they're going through these scenarios. Because there's honestly a lot of overlap. Who slept with that douche canoe? Um, I don't really know if anybody like actually slept with him. I, like, I would assume Wesker would be like there would be like a surrogate mother. So this is, this boss fight is exclusive to Claire. So 
That's how you mean my pizza rolls. Just nuke the fuck out of them. There. <laughs> Normally you have to shoot every eyeball that comes up on his on his body. And there's a bunch of them. Yeah, not as tense when you have a rocket launcher. But doing that on hardcore with no infinite ammo weapons. Whew. It was fucking clutch on that fight. Because I, I was down, I think, to my pistol ammo. I had nothing else. I used up literally everything that I had. But that's it. That's game. Though we don't get the true ending on this one, we have to clear the second run. Which we typically just call the B run. Hey, look at that. I said, well, I said the end game time would be about, or I think I said 240. I just looked at the clock and it's, it's 3.40 a.m. and I was like, oh, okay. So, like, his outfit's changed to his RPD outfit, and he's got the bandage on, implying that all the stuff with Ada happens, but, like, we don't see nor hear about any of it until we play as him. And then there's so much overlap that, like, some of the events can't happen to both characters, so, like, it's kind of hand-wavy. Like, I, I preferred how they laid out the story in the original, but, like, I like this story, like, not considering the two characters, like, intercrossing, like they do in, in Resident Evil 2, like the original one. Like, the second run has some slight differences, and I'll be honest, I don't, I've only ever cleared the second round on this once with each character. Like, ever. I, I did a Leon B and a Claire B run, and like, all my runs of the game were all A runs. And the reason for that is there's one less boss on A playthrough than there's a B playthrough. Because there is a true final boss. Let you don't fight on the A playthrough. If you watch the original Resident Evil 2 playthrough, you would know what that final boss is, because it's exactly the same. Though, the boss that we just fought, the final Birkin, or that version of Birkin, I, is much more accurate to say. Um... That's that particular mutation is Claire exclusive. Leon never fights that. He fights all the other ones leading up to that point, but not that one. Um, Leon deals with Mr. X a lot more. Like Mr. X was round, but aside from stalking Claire a little bit, like once he does that elevator, like he's done. But that's not what how it stays. Also, I don't like being on camera during credits. Because this is me talking. <laughs> I don't like being on camera most of the time, but...
So my plan is, hopefully, either tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow night, get that Leon B run done. And if we have, like, three hours, we'll go through Resident Evil 3. But that's not a long game. I know skipping cutscenes, I can clear that in an hour and a half. So, if we were to watch cutscenes and read memos, that's going to add, what, like, 30, 45 minutes, maybe? Well, that's uh that's the last like part of the the main series marathon that we're doing. So I probably will do the first Survivor, like the first Resident Evil uh, Survivor game for PS One. But I'm not gonna worry about doing like things in release order. I'm just gonna play what I'm like feeling at that point. Cause we'll have some extra time. I didn't want to stuff too many games into the series playthrough because I've cleared counting counting like double playthroughs of like Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil 2 as like their own games pretty much. Um, yeah, that's not going to tell you anything. Because <laughs> um, hell, it, it, it was up to date as of six hours ago, but... Like, you can mark Resident Evil 7 off there entirely, and then the Claire A part of RE2 Remake off. Um, but I'm not going to worry about doing release order. I, I finished this main series playthrough a, a little sooner than I thought. Uh, so we'll have a little bit extra time. So I'll use it for Survivor, and now I was thinking I'd hop into Revelations, because that's, that's just a good game. We don't get enough of it. Oh, but wait, what's this? Oh. We gonna have Outbreak? Uh, I'm not playing Outbreak single player. Two forty one. We got an S rank. We can get S plus because we used infinite ammo stuff. But I'll take an S rank. Literally couldn't have done better while using infinite ammo. It's really just based on time and total number of saves. But yeah, I'm down to play Outbreak. But like, I want a full group. I, I do not want to play Outbreak solo. Outbreak, while it can be played solo, it um, it's much better played with like actual people. Leonard, thank you so much for the cheer, man. I appreciate it. So, with that said, uh, friends, we're going to go ahead and cut the stream. I think four o'clock is a good start for this week. I can 
just try to sleep a lot tomorrow and maybe squeeze in that Leon B run because like I'll be able to get done under three hours because the B run is shorter. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit of rest and I will catch you all tomorrow. So until then, be safe, be kind, and I'll see you then.